So my name is uh, uh, Stephen Joroge Solomon. Naitwa Stephen Joroge Solomon. And Christ is Lord and Savior of my life. Na Bwana ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. And I'm a son in this house. Mimi ni mwana katika chumba hii. And I want to appreciate our bishop. Na ni mshukuru wa skofu wetu. And our mom. Na mama yetu. And the pastoral team even for this opportunity. Na hata wachungaji kwa sababu ya nafasi hii. Uh, that uh, to get an opportunity to share the word of God. And by the grace of God, when we began the year, I reminded us that uh, uh, the grace to thresh mountains has been released. And we are reminding ourselves that we should not fear because uh, 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 God is our God, the Lord is our God. He will be with us and He will help us. So we also uh, 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 appreciated and noted that is in the process of making us into threshing instruments. And we appreciate that he is the porter and we are the crew. And uh, 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 the option we had is to cooperate with the porter. Na ile nafasi ya mafursa tukonayo ni kweza kushirikiana na mumbaji. Even as he works in us. Wakati ya nafanya kazi ndani yetu. And finally we saw. Na tukaona. That there is no remitation. Ya kwamba hakuna mepaka. To what God can do to a life that is fully yielded to him. Ya kile mungu anaweza fanya kwa maisha ambayo imeju wachilia kwake. And I'm picking it now from there. Na nitaendelea kutoka pale. And today I would like, uh, 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 we, we, we look at picking the good from our threshed mountains. Picking the good from our threshed mountains. So uh, we all need to appreciate that even as we thresh our mountains, we should never forget that God never runs, of pran, never runs out of pran. Uh, men run out of pran. And nowadays we hear young people asking, asking one another. Rada. Uh, so asking how are the plans. But there are times that even those young people do not even have plans. Man fail but God cannot fail. So I'd like as we look at uh, the, the scripture Isaiah 41 verse 14 to 16. And that will be our main scripture even if maybe we may touch here and there but that will be our main scripture. So let's read together. One, two, three. Fear not you warm Jacob, you men of Israel. I'll help you, says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I'll make you into a new threshing stretch with sharp teeth. You shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and make the hills like chaff. You shall winnow them and the wind shall carry them away and the whole wind shall scatter them. You shall rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. Again, let's look at uh, John 6, verse 12 to 13. Uh, the word of God says that where, uh, this, after he had fed the 5,000, uh, when, they, uh, when he, uh, they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered, let's proceed, then they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five uh, ropes left over by those who had eaten. So here we see that after the crowd had been satisfied, Jesus issued this command to his disciples. Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. And it's, it's comforting to know that our God is not God of waste. 
he could not allow the waste of the pieces of bread. He does not waste our experiences. He does not waste our broken pieces of our lives. He does not waste even our mistakes and our failures. Instead, he miraculously waves them together. Uh, 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 even when we make uh, the choices, uh, the poor choices. Around by his permissive will. But he does it in a very beautiful, extraordinary journey, which brings glory to his holy name. So out of our darkest uh, experiences, the brightest light can dawn for those who love him. And that's why I love Psalm 112. So in verse 4 it says that even in darkness right dawns for the righteous. And in fact if, uh, there in verse 7 to continue to say about those who fear the Lord that they, does, they do not fear bad news because their heart is steadfast. Trusting in the Lord. And this is captured in the glorious promise of, the, of God in the scripture. In Romans 8 verse 28. Uh, and the scripture reminds us, and we know that in all things, not, not in some things, but in all things, God works for good for those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. I would like we see the same in the, uh, in the amplified version. And this I would like all of us to read. One, two, three. And, and we, we know, know with, with great, great confidence, confidence that, that God, who, who is deeply concerned, concerned about, about us, Causes, causes all, all things, things to work together, together as a, as a plan, plan for, for God, good for, for those who love God, God for those who are called according to his plan and, and purpose. purpose. So we see that God always never runs out of plan. He's always in full control. And I like what Reverend Millicent always says that God directs the show of our lives. Remember today we are, we are looking at picking the good from our threshed mountains. Because this year as Deliverance Church International, the, uh, the, the grace to thresh mountain has been released. But we have five things. Well, that, that we need we need to do or keep in mind. Even as we pick the good from our dressed mountains. And uh, the first one. We need always to remember that we are variable in the sight of God. It doesn't what it doesn't matter what people have told you. But we need always to remember that we are variable in the sight of God. And uh, let's look at Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 41 verse 14. It says that fear not you warm Jacob, you men, you men of Israel, I will help you. But the, the last bit is what is, is very key for us. Because uh, who is saying this? Uh, and the one who is saying that says the Lord, you are Redeemer and the Holy One of Israel. When uh, the scripture talks about your Redeemer, 
as your redeemer kama mkombozi wako this means that he has put a price for your life inamaanisha kwamba ameweka gharama juu ya maisha yako and that's why we are celebrating easter na ndipo sasa tukawa tunasherehekea easter because of what jesus did for us kwa sababu ya kile kitu ambacho yesu alitufanyia the word of god in first peter chapter 3 verse 18 matero wa kwanza 3:18 always reminds us ya tukumbusha that Jesus died for sins once and for all. Ya kwamba Yesu akatufilia dhambi zetu mara moja kwa yote. The righteous for the unrighteous. Ya wale watakatifu kwa watakatifu. That he might bring us to God. Ili kwamba atulete kwa Mungu. So remember that you have been bought back with a price. Kwa hivyo kumbuka kwamba umenunuliwa kwa gharama. Uh, no uh, uh, the word reminds us that uh, for, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life The Lord our God is a loving father. Bwana Mungu wetu ni wa upendo. He never fails and he never leaves us. Hapungukiwi na hatuachi. He remains the good shepherd. Anabakia kuwa mlinzi aliye mzuri. And I like uh, what he, uh, uh, we are reminded in John chapter 10 verse 11 to 12. Na ninapenda vile tunakumbushwa Yohana 10 11 So because we are precious this is also reminding us that we are precious before the Lord or we are kwamba sisi ni wadhamana ni wa maana mbele ya macho ya Mungu that I'm the good shepherd. Ya kwamba mimi ni mlinzi ule mzuri. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Na mchungaji mzuri anawacha maisha yake kwa sababu ya kondoo wake. The hired hand is not the shepherd. Ah ya kwamba ile iliyokombolewa mkono sio ndio mchungaji and does not own the sheep. Na hawezi kurithi ama sio mwenye yule mbuzi. So when he sees the wolf coming, kwa hivyo anapoona yule mbwa mwitu akija, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Anamkimbilia, anakimbia, anatoroka wale mbuzi. Then the wolf attacks uh, the frog and scatters it. Alafu uh, yule mbwa mwitu anawaangamiza wale kondoo. Let's remember that we are valuable before the Lord. Kumbuka kwa kwamba sisi ni wadhamana mbele ya macho ya Mungu. Today are you part of of the of his frog? Je, wewe umehusika katika kuwa miongoni mwa kondoo wake? Because he has assured us that indeed he's a good shepherd. Ya kwa sababu ametuhakikishia kwamba kwa hakika yeye ni 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 ni, ni mchungaji mzuri. Uh, the other thing we need to know is that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Ya kwamba jambo la pili ambalo tunafaa kujua hakuna chochote kitakachotuatanisha na upendo wa Mungu. No, it's still on that uh, showing that we are variable. Tukiendelea tu kuona katika jambo lile in Romans 8:35 to 39. Warumi 8:35 hadi 39. Yes who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Je ni nani atatutenganisha kwa upendo wa Kristo? Uh, uh, shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword je ni shida ni njaa ni ukosefu ama ni a a a a a a kiswa ambacho kitatutenganisha that six as it is written ana imeandikwa for your sake we face death all day uh, wrong kwa sababu yako mtaweza utaweza kuangalia kuangaliana na kifo a uh, uh, kila siku We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. La hasha kwa mambo haya yote sisi ni zaidi ya washindi kwa kupitia yeye aliyetupenda. For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor demons neither the present or future nor any powers maana nina uhakikisho ya kwamba sio kifo sio malaika sio mapepo ama ya sasa ama itakayokuweko neither height nor depth wala urefu ama upana no anything else in all creation ama chochote kama katika maumbile uh, will separate uh, will be able to separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus our lord ambayo itaweza kututenganisha na upendo wa kristo yesu bwana wetu we are variable in the eyes of the lord sisi ni wa maana katika macho ya bwana we have been purchased uh, 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 by a price tumeweza kununuliwa kwa dhamana no wonder jesus died uh, for us ndio maana yesu akatufia to die for our sins akatufia dhambi zetu 
and when the, when the wrath of god was satisfied na wakati mungu aliweza kukuwa kuwa na uhakikisho ama kuwa ametosheka he declared that it's finished akatangaza kwamba imeisha he did not say i am finished akusema kwamba mimi nimeisha he said it's finished alisema imeisha we have the victory na kwamba tuko na ushindi And even in Matthew 6 we are reminded that we are more variable than many birds of the air. Na Matayo 6 inatukumbusha kwamba sisi ni wa maana kupita ndege wa angani. So let's remember that. Kwa hivyo tukumbuke that we, even, even as we, uh, we, we pick uh, the good from our mountains ya kwamba tunapochukua mazuri kutoka kwa milima yetu the first thing we need to know is that we are variable in the sight of god lazima tujue kwamba sisi ni wa maana machoni pa mungu we should not let anyone put us down wacha usikubali yeyote akuweze kukuweka chini because he's our redeemer kwa sababu yeye ni mkombozi wetu and, and this day i don't know if you can confidently declare that he's your redeemer asijui leo kama uko na uhakikisho ama unaweza ukasema kwa ujasiri kwamba ni mkombozi wako because he becomes your redeemer sababu anakuwa mkombozi wako when you accept the work that you accept the work that happened at the cross of calvary wakati unakubali kile ambacho kilitendeka pale akalvari you declare that indeed he died for my sins unatangaza kwamba kwa hakika alinikufia dhambi zangu and a turn around comes in your life na ubadiliko unakuja katika maisha yako when you make him lord and savior of your life unapomfanya bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako Uh, the second thing ya pili even as we pick the good from our, our threshed mountains tunapochukua mazuri kutoka kwa milima iliyoweza kuharibiwa we need to desire our eyes to be open lazima tuangazie uh, tutamani macho yetu ifunguliwe we need to desire our eyes to be open ya kwamba macho yetu ikaweze kufunguliwa let's see isaiah 41 verse 15 isaiah isaiah 41:15 tusome behold i'll make you into a new threshing stretch with sharp teeth You shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and make the hills like chaff. That word behold is saying look. Tazama. And God is telling us to look. Na Bwana anatuambia tazameni because it's there. Kwa sababu ipo. He cannot tell you to look what is not there. Haizi kuambia utazame kile ambacho hakiko. So and my prayer is that may our eyes be opened. Ya kwamba ombi langu ni macho yetu ifunguke. To look and see what God is doing in our lives. Ili kwamba tutazame tuone kile Mungu anafanya maishani mwetu. What he is doing in us and even through us. Kile anachofanya kwetu na kupitia kwetu. In the in the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina kuu la Yesu. And we know uh, the story in in King 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 16 to 17. Wafalme wa pili aha 16 16 hadi 17 how elisha prayed for his servants so the, uh, the, the servant went out there and he saw that they were surrounded by a, a very big army mtumishi alipoenda akaona wamezungizingirwa na jeshi kubwa and uh, this is what uh, the servant of god reminded him ndipo mtumishi wa mungu aliwakumbusha don't be afraid siogope a prophet a prophet answered nabi akajibu those who are with us are more than those with them walie nasi ni wengi kupita walio na wao and elisha prayed akaomba elisha open his eyes lord kwa macho yao bwana that he might he, 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 so that he may see ili kwamba akaone And that's why my prayer for each one of us. Na hiyo ndio ombi langu kwa kila mmoja wetu. Because the Lord is at work in our lives. Sababu Bwana yuko kazini maishani mwetu. And that he may open our eyes. Kwamba afungue macho yetu. Uh, to see that what he, what is doing in our lives. Ili tuone kile ambacho anafanya maishani mwetu. So in that verse 17 that Elisha prayed open his eyes Lord so that he may see. Elisha akaomba akasema fungua macho yake ili kwamba aone. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes. Mungu akafungua macho ya mtumishi and he looked and he saw na katazama akaona the hill the, the hill uh, the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around erisha ya kwamba milima ilikuwa imecha na farasi za moto wakimzunguka elisha so may god open our eyes to look not only to look but look and see what god uh, has for us mungu wetu afungue macho yetu ili tuone na sio tu kuona bali tukaweze pia kutazama kile ambacho ametuwekea Ah, bwana yes what is in our threshed mountains ambayo iko katika milima yetu ambayo imeweza kuwekwa chini and that's what also happened in genesis 21:17 to verse 19 mwanzo 17 uh, pia 21:17 uh, hadi uh, 19 the word of god says that and god heard the voice of the land then ah. the angel of god called to hagar out of heaven and said to her what are as you hagar 
Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the land where, where he is. Arise, lift up the land, hold him with your hand, for I will make him a great nation. Verse 19. That is, then God opened her high eyes. She saw a, a, well, a well of water, and she went and filled the skin with water and, the, and, and gave the land a drink. So here we see the well was already there. Neno lilikuwepo. But because the, uh, her eyes had, uh, the hacker's eyes had not been opened, she couldn't see. But God opened her, her eyes and saw a well of water. No wonder in Isaiah 43, verse 18 to verse 19, 18 to verse 19, we have been reminded to forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now, now it springs up. Do, not, do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness. And streams in the wastelands. That's why, even as uh, as we pick the uh, for us to pick the good from our thresh mountains, it should be the desire of each one of us that our eyes will be opened. That will not only look. But we look and see. No wonder God reminded the Israelites that behold, I'm making you into a threshing stretch. New and sharp with many teeth. Yes, so God, God opened our eyes. The third thing, uh, we need to be keen to separate the good and the bad. We need to be keen to separate the good and the bad. We need to pick our lessons. Uh, because there is someone who said, there is no experience which is useless in its own self. Because every experience has a lesson to offer. But you can but you can waste but we can waste those experiences. By not picking our lessons. And that's why instead of complaining even when you are passing through stuff, it's important even to ask God, what are you teaching me in this season? Because God always never runs out of plan. Even when we pass through trying times. Because he's a good God. And I would like to uh, we read Isaiah 41, verse 15 to 16. Isaiah 41, verse 15 to 16. So I don't know if the, uh, we have the new, uh, uh, new American Standard Bible. Okay, but I'll read what I, I have because it brings it uh, better in uh, NASB. It says that, behold, I, I, I turned you into a new sharp and threshing, threshing stretch with double edges. You shall thresh the mountains and pulverize them. Pulverize them. And the word pulverize means to reduce to fine particles. And make hills like chaff. Verse 16, you will winnow them. And the wind uh, will carry them away. 
na ile uh, uh, upepo itaweza kuivuta ama kuipeleka and the storm will scatter them na itaweza kupotelewa uh, kuweza ku, kupotelezwa but you will rejoice in the lord lakini mtafurahikia katika bwana you will boast in the holy one of israel mtaweza kufurahikia yule mtakatifu wa israeli so let's read this from verse 15 tusome hii kutoka 15 so let's all read one to three. Kwa see i'll make you into a threshing stretch new and sharp with many teeth you will thresh the mountains and crush them and reduce the hills to chaff verse 16 you will winnow them and the wind will pick them up and the uh, girl will blow them away but you will rejoice in the lord and glory in the holy one of israel so when you look at, at uh, what uh, the word winnowing means ukiangalia maana ya kupepeta winnowing is an is an act of separating kupepeta ni ile kutenganisha the desirable and the undesirable elements kile ambacho ni kinapendeza na kile ya kipendezi that is to separate chaff which is rubbish yani kutenganisha uchafu from the grain by fanning na kutokana na ile uh, mbegu by fanning fanning ya, ya kuweza kupepeta uh, again we can say that we know wing aha hiyo kupepeta is the method in which heavier components ni uh, jia ambayo vitu vilivyokuwa vilivyo vizito of the of, of the mixture are separated from from the right uh, substance with the help of wind vile vitu vizito vinatenganishwa na vile vilivyo vepesi kwa kutumia upepo and uh, there, there is what uh, in uh, in greek we call katharuru kuna ile kwa kigiriki tunaita uteo and uh, i remember when we began the uh, uh, when we began the year Uh, tulipoanza mwaka i remember pastor kebera in, uh, reminding us for us to visualize about threshing of mountains uh, um, mchungaji kibera akitukumbusha kuweza kufikiria kuhusu kudidimiza zile milima we know how we harvest beans tunajua vile tunavuna uh, uh, maharage and w- when beans come they, they are usually in a, in a very big heap maharage inapovunwa ina hapa inakuja inakuja ikiwa mingi sana and then uh, we usually pick the sticks tunachukua zile vijiti and we thresh them tunagonga gonga and after that now na baada ya pale now we pick that uh, gataruru <laughs> uteo ule tunachukua ile uteo and then now we try to uh, the, the ladies now uh, try to blow wale wadada sasa wana wana uh, pepeta so that now the chaff is able to be blown away ili uchafu ule ukaweze kutupwa and now we are left with beans na sasa unabaki na maharagwe ile so in our different homes katika nyumbani kwetu We, uh, especially the ladies they always do winnowing ah uh, wale wadada sana sana wanafanya ukupepeta so even for us kwa hivyo hata kwetu we need to know that in our thrashed mountains lazima tujue kwamba wakati tunaweza kugonga milima ile there are the good or precious things or lessons that the lord has for us kuna ile ma, uh, masomo ambayo mungu ako nayo kwetu sisi kwa kupitia ile and the dirt or rubbish will be blown away na lazima ile uchafu kaweze kutenganishwa na kutupwa That's why we need to be keen ndio maana tunahitaji kuwa makinifu sana to separate the good from the bad in our threshed mountains kuondoa mazuri na mabaya kutoka kwa milima ambayo imeweza kuletwa chini because as we saw from the scriptures kwa sababu tulipoona kutoka kwa maandiko that all things ya kwamba mambo yote not some things sio mambo kadhaa all things yote mambo works good for they that love the lord yafanyika wema kwa wale wampendao bwana those who have been called according to his purpose hiyo ito kulingana na makusudi yake so god always has a plan hivyo basi mungu ana mipango he may not be the one who, who has caused uh, uh, something anaweza kuwa sio yeye amefanya uh, uh, he is not the one who has caused whatever maybe you are going through lakini hajasababisha kile ambacho unapitia but he's always for us and uh, uh, with us and he always for, for us lakini yako kwa sababu yetu sisi na kwa niaba yetu So it's good to know that we can depend on our God. Ni vizuri kujua kwamba tunaweza kumtegemea Bwana. So some of us sometimes we are provoked by people. Wengine wetu saa zingine tunaweza kushtuliwa na watu ama tunaambiwa mambo na watu. People talk ill of us. Tuongelea mabaya and we get depressed. Na tunashushwa. But what do we do? Lakini tunafanya nini? So uh, we start complaining. Anza kunungunika and the root of bitterness grows in us na uchungu unajaa ndani yetu ama mizizi ya uchungu inaingia ndani yetu but i need uh, uh, we need to remember about uh, hana in the Le, bible ni vizuri tukumbuke kuhusu hana katika andiko she was provoked uh, sev- uh, severely by her co-wife aliweza ku, uh, kudhihakiwa sana na mke mwenza 
uh, and that was Penina. Penina. In your own time, you look at 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 4 to 17. But even when she was provoked, her she went into the altar. She went into the house of the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Because in an altar, the human meets the divine. The limited meets the limited, uh, the, the, the limited meets the, the limitless. And others speak into our lives. Minister to us and even fight for us. So when we are going through stuff, it's not the time to run away from Monday prayers. Or even when there's the times of refreshing. Or the Sunday service. It's good to go to the house of the Lord. There arise your victory. And uh, there is a, a, a friend of ours. And even when we have a function and we have someone to speak on behalf of the family, he comes because he was the best friend of my dad. And he lives at a place called Gedega in Tiambu. And one time, uh, is someone who is uh, well up and uh, a, 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 a very good businessman. But one time, because he was uh, uh, being given contracts to, uh, to transport uh, things from Unga Limited, he had a very good lorry. And uh, in one of the places that uh, he was distributing the distributors, so the distributor gave, gave him uh, an offer. An offer to buy his lorry, which was... And because he had not planned, he, he gave him a price which is, was way off. Uh, no, no, an exorbitant price. Because he did not want to sell and he had not even thought about it. Next time the Muzee went... He found the distributor had the money. And though he had not planned to sell because the money was so good, so he, he sold the lorry. And now he was left, now he does not have a tool for working. And he did not know what to do. So he was coming from a place called Gadaidi. Going to Gedega shopping center. This is someone who is very well up, and even the people, uh, 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 every member of the family, even though the, the, ladies, the girls who have been married, they have been given businesses. But that time he found himself did not have a personal car. He did not even have the lorry that he was having. But there was this young man who had just started working. And uh, I think he had picked maybe a loan from, uh, from his place of work or from the bank. So he went and found them there. He roared his, uh, his window. And this is what he said. And I'll say that because you'll be able to interpret. So you see, uh, you, can, you, can, can you compare? This is a man who is very well up and very, uh, he has a lot of properties. And this man now told him that. Uh, the man was so annoyed because he knows the boy from, uh, from uh, when he, the boy was very young. And he said something uh, unchristian. And he said, <laughs> that, that, Yeah, but he did that. that he did, he did, and it's he's a Mzee who told me, but uh, then I'm getting somewhere. So he was provoked. 
uh, uchungu but that man what happened jambo ambalo lilifanyika after he was provoked alipoweza kuwekwa hiyo kukudhihakiwa acha tuseme he could not reconcile how such of a of a boy could tell him such 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 thing angedhania ni jili ya kijana mdogo kama huyu ameniambia aje jambo kama hili and because that issue troubled him na kwa sababu jambo hilo lilimshtua sana a, a thought came to his mind akili kamjia ama fikra he remembered that there, there was a loan he had offset from Kiambu uh, KCB alikuwa akakumbuka kuna loan ambayo alikuwa ameweza kuona kutoka pale Kiambu KCB alikuwa amemaliza and he had not even picked his title na kwa hata amechukua title yake so he went there aenda pale uh, asked if he could be able to get uh, money akauliza mtaweza kunipea pesa and because he has a very good history na kwa sababu historia yake ni njema so he was given money akapewa hela within 3 weeks he was back a wiki tatu ilipomalizika alikuwa amesharudi now that boy could not even be able to look at him kule kijana hata hangemwangalia kwa macho so sometimes penina is good penina wakati mwingine ni mzuri is able sometimes to provoke us anaweza kukuambia kitu so that you are able to make the right choices ya kwamba ukaweze kufanya uamuzi wa busara and that's why even mother ego and ndio maana hata mother ego aha yule ndege mama yule ndege anaitwa ego Ma- makes the nest uncomfortable by putting thorns ana 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 thorns aha anaweka miba so that now uh, the egrets are able now to fly ah ili kwamba wale watoto wakaweze kuweza kuweza kupuruka ama ku, kuondoka so we need to appreciate that in every experience we we undergo lazima tukafurahie kwamba kwa kila jambo tupitialo there will always be lessons for us to learn pata kuwepo na mafunzo yetu kujifunza and god's grace is always sufficient and amazing for us na neema ya mungu inatutosha uh, katika uh, uh, maisha yetu and and david in psalms 4 verse 1 daudi zaburi moja nne zaburi ah nne moja he said that god enlarged me in my time of distress sema kwamba mungu nipanue wakati ambapo nimefinyilika so here he did not he, did, he, did, he was not enlarged in good times ah ah hakuweza kukasirishwa wakati wa wakati wakati wa mambo in good times ah mambo mazuri he got enraged in tough times ah aliweza kupanuliwa katika wakati ambapo ni mgumu let's read that uh, psalms 4 verse 1 wacha tusome zaburi 4:1 tuwekewe uh, so he said answer me when i call o lord my, my god um, uh, o god of my righteousness i freed uh, you have freed me when i am hemmed in and relieved me when i was in distress be gracious to me and hear me so if ampc is not there amplified classic then put kjv kjv king james version okay uh, it says and uh, and no that, that same scripture that same scripture ile tu ambayo ilikuwa that same scripture zaburi moja uh, uh, yeah, yes that one okay uh, that that scripture uh, yeah it says hear me when i call o god my uh, of my righteousness thou hast enraged me when i was in distress have mercy upon me and hear my cry so here here david was testifying daudi akao anatoa ushuhuda that god enraged him ya kwamba mungu alimpanua in his time of distress wakati alikuwa amefinyilika and our, our, our bishop always reminds us hofu anatukumbusha or gives us uh, uh, the, the illustration ama anatuweza kutupatia uh, uh, funzo that when you slaughter a goat wakati umechinja mbuzi or a sheep ama kondoo and you'd like to make use of that skin na ungalipenda kutumia ile ngozi so what you do when it's wet wakati ambayo iko bado na unyevu you shall put pegs unaweka unaweza kuiwekea mahali pale and stretch it una unaipanua and one thing he reminds us ah na anatukumbusha jambo when it the, the skin dries wakati ngozi ile ime, inakauka it can never go back where it was hairudi mahali ambapo iliko kuweko sometimes when you go through stuff wakati mwingine wakati unapitia mambo god is building capacity in us mungu ana ana anapanua uwezo kwako so, so again the, the story of joseph is uh, in the bible also has a great lesson hadithi ya yusuf katika andiko pia iko na 
his attitude was marked by such unwavering trust in God's providence that when his brothers were rightly fearful of what he could do to them his response was unexpected he saw God's purpose through it all and in that point I'd like we read uh, Genesis 8 uh, 50, 18 to 21 it says that his brothers then came and threw themselves down before him this after they recognized that it was Joseph whom they had sold as a slave we are your slaves they said but Joseph said to them don't be afraid am I in the place of God you intended to harm me but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done the saving of lives so then don't be afraid I'll provide for you and your children. And he reassured them and spoke kindly to them. So uh, uh, remember we are said that uh, may God uh, may God give us the grace to be able to separate uh, the, the good and the bad from uh, our threshed mountain. Even for gold. Gold, gold. Uh, I've never seen it being processed. But I usually hear that it's usually uh, the, the gold is surrounded by a lot of dirt. So that that has to be removed or cringed for that gold to be exposed. So even for us, sometimes even when people uh, uh, provoke us, we just see the bad of them. But let's remember that there is a gold in every person. Yeah, so, so it's good always to look, to look not just at that uh, single event, but look at the, the bigger picture. The fourth point. So uh, we, will, we will have... A, at the end of, uh, of it, even as we pick the good from our, uh, our, our thresh mountains, we'll have a reason to rejoice in the Lord and give him all the glory. So that's my prayer for us. That we'll have a reason to rejoice in the Lord and give him all the glory. And that's what we can see from Isaiah 41 verse 16. And it says that you shall win of them and the wind shall carry them away. And the wheel wind shall scatter them. You shall rejoice in the Lord. And glory in the Holy One of Israel. We see even uh, in Luke 17 how, uh, how the, the ten rapers were healed. Luke but there is this one, uh, the Samaritan, who came, who came to give glory to God. So even for us, even in our thrash mountains, when we pick the good from our thrash mountains, we have a reason to rejoice in the Lord and to give him all the glory. And again, it's repeated in Isaiah 35, verse 10. And says that the ram sound of the Lord shall return. 
and come to Zion with singing. Na wakuja Zayuni na wimbo. With everlasting joy on their heads. Wana furaha umilele ndani vichwani mwao. They shall obtain joy and gladness. Na furaha na kuwa wenye na kuwa wenye furaha. And sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Na machungu yataweza kuondoka. So that will be our portion even as we pick the good. From our threshed mountain in the name of Jesus. And the final scripture in that, that point is uh, Psalm 126 verse 5 to 6. So we know that when you are planting, planting is not the best thing. To yeah, uh, wakati tunapanda, sio wakati ule ambao ni mzuri zaidi. You become dirty. Kwa mchafu. It's quite tiresome. Na chosha. But here we see in verse, uh, verse 5 and 6. Lakini hapa tunaona 5 na 6 mstari. That those who sow with the tears. Ya kwamba wale wanaopanda katika machozi. Will reap with songs of joy. Watavuna na sifa za furaha. Those who go out weeping. Awenda inje wakiwa wanalia. Carrying seeds to sow. We return with the songs of joy. Carrying sheaves with them. And uh, there is this story which is told about uh, a mother and a daughter. And uh, the daughter was, was passing through stuff. And the mother needed to, uh, uh, needed to cheer her up. Na mamaki akataka kumtia moyo. And uh, one thing, uh, the mother knew that the, the girl uh, liked a cake. Uh, mamaki akachua kwamba binti yangu anapenda keki. So uh, the mother asked, want a piece of cake? Panda keki? Yeah, uh, the, the daughter said, yes, mom, you know I love cakes. Haka sema, mom, unajua ni mependa keki. So they went, they were at the veranda. Kaenda pale kwenye veranda. So they went to the kitchen. Kaenda kwenye jikoni. So the mother took, took the ingredients. Mama, akaweza kuchukua vile vifa, ama vitu vita vengenavyo za vyo keki. So there was flour that was there. Haka wana unga. There was oil that was there. Wana mafuta. There was baking powder which was there. baking powder. And there were eggs. So uh, uh, the, the mother was silent, but uh, reached out time and told the girl. Uh, drink this oil. Uh, then the, 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 the girl asked, "Mom, what do you mean?" Kamuliza mama unamanisha nini? Then told, okay, pick this, uh, take this uh, baking powder. Basi, chukua baking powder hii. The, the girl said, I'll be sick, ma'am. Mama, nita goncheka, kase, ma yule binti. Then take this fra. Basi, chukua unga ule. Ma'am, are you serious? Kamuambia, mama, je, wewe uko serious? And then he, uh, 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 the mother asked. Mama, kamuliza. Take these eggs. Basi, chukua maya hii. The girl said, yak. Akase, ma yak. So, what happened? Akili, chukua kufanyika. So, uh, the mother did not speak uh, speak to the girl again. Mama tena. But put the mixture together. Akaweza kuchanganya. And put it in the oven. Akaiweka kwenye ile oven ama jiko ile. And after some time, na baada ya muda, a very delicious cake came out. Keki iliyopendeza ikaweza kutokea. So that's what happens even when we are passing through stuff. Na hivyo ndivyo inafanyika wakati unapitia mambo. When those things are separate, wakati ma, bitu vile vime tenganishwa, they are not, they, we may see as if they are not good or they are not valuable for us. Beweza kukali kama si viema ama si vizuri kwetu. But when they are put together, lakini viki wekwa kwa pamoja, and put under heat, na ikiwa ivi wekwe kwenye moto, something nice comes from it. Jambo nzuri lina toka. So, uh, my prayer is that may you have a reason to rejoice. Yeah, ombi langu ni kwamba tuwe na sababu ya kufurahia. The outcome from the help of our Lord and our Redeemer will be evident. We will have a reason to rejoice and glory in the Lord our Redeemer. Because he never runs out of plan. And the final point, so we should never forget even as we pick the good from our threshed mountains, we should never forget that Jesus holds in his hand his winnowing frog. frog. Uh, 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 Jesus holds in his hand his winnowing fork. 
So and let's look at Matthew 3:11 to 12. Matthew 3:11 to 12. Uh, and the word of God says, uh, this was John the Baptist. And he said that I baptize you with water, those who repent of their sins and turn to God. But someone is coming sooner who is greater than I am. So much greater that I'm not worthy even to be his slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Uh, 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 let's move to verse 12. He's ready to separate the chaff from the wheat with his winnowing fork. Then he will clean up the threshing area, gathering up the wheat into the barn, but burning the chaff with never-ending fire. And uh, uh, let's read again this in Amplified Version. That as for me, I baptize you with water because of your, repent, uh, of your repentance. That is because you are willing to change your inner self. Your older way of thinking Regret your sin and live a changed life. But he, the Messiah, who is coming after me, is mightier, more powerful, more noble. Than I, whose sandal I am not worthy to remove, even as his slave. He will baptize you, who truly, who, who truly repent, with the Holy Spirit, and, uh, and, you will remain, uh, uh, and you who remain unrepentant with the fire. That is judgment. Uh, if possible, media, are we able to read that in, in Swahili, uh, Dr. Unaweza kutuwekea na Kiswahili? For that scripture. Iyo, iyo andiko, uh, okay. Matayo tatu. Uh, uh, if possible. Kama unaweza ipata na Kiswahili? Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, th three. Uh, in Matayo? Matthew three. Tatu. Uh, uh, Eleven to twelve. Uh, itaenda had kumina moja hadi kumina mbili. Matayo tatu. Uh, in Swahili. Sorry, I, I, don't, I don't want you this, but it's okay. In Swahili, if possible. Uh, okay. Misawa. But we will proceed, but I I wish it. Yeah. Aha. Verse 11. Aha. Kumina moja ni tasoma. Yes. yes, okay. Mimi ni nawabatizeni kwa maji kuonesha metubu. Lakini anayekuja baada yangu, ananguvu kuliko mimi. Nami sistahili hata kubeba viatu vyake. Yeye atawabatizeni kwa roho mtakatifu na kwa moto. Kuna mbili. Yeye anashika mko, yeye anashika mkononi chombo cha kupuria nafaka ili aipure nafaka yake. Akusanye ngano yake galani na makapi ayachome kwa moto usiozimika. Amen. Amen. So here, the, the, this scripture is reminding us it's important for us to also separate the good and the bad from the Adrash mountains. But we should never miss the eternal perspective. Uh, Jesus is also do, doing the same. Yesu pia yuwafanya vile. So he will separate the good and the bad. Atatenganisha mazuri na mabaya. So those who, who, who have repent, who have truly repent, repented. Wale ambao wametubu kwa waki kama kwa ukweli. And those who have not repented. Na wale ambao bado hawachatubu. A winnowing fork. Aha, ile uh, uh, kifacha kupepeta. Is a tool roughly resembling a pitch fork. Ni kifa ambacho kina fanana na huma. Used to separate grains of wheat from the chaff by throwing the, the wheat into the air. Ambacho kinatumika kuweza kutenganisha ngano kutoka kwa ile nzuri na ile mbaya. And allowing the wheat to blow away the right chaff. Na ikikubalia upepo ukaweza kutupilia mbali ile ambayo ninye pesi. We need to know that there, there will be a separation between those who are truly repentant. Lazima tutue kwamba pata kuwepo na utenganisho wa wale ambao kwa uhakika walmetubu and they are repentant. Na wale ambao hawajatubu. So today Jesus comes to us as the savior. Yesu anatujia kama mwokozi. But soon he will come to us as a judge. Lakini baadaye kidogo atatujia kama mhukumu. To separate the truly repentant. Akija kutenganisha waliotubu kwa hakika and they are unrepentant. Na wale ambao wamekataa kutubu. But there is good news. Lakini kuna habari iliyo njema. We have an offer for a limited time. 
And we have his word in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2 to be. And it says that behold. Yes, uh, we'll read that. Be, be, but be behold. Now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Don't miss the opportunity of our lifetime. Uh, by waiting until it is too late. Remember that Jesus holds in his hand his winnowing fork to separate the truly repentant and the unrepentant. But today you have an opportunity. Uh, to come to Jesus. Um, Jesu. Uh, to declare that indeed that he is Lord and Savior of your life. And in a few minutes I'm going to give you that opportunity. So I don't know you are, if you are there. And you do not know Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. It's good for us to separate the good and the bad from our thresh mountains. But, but we need to know that we have the real life that we live here today. And we have another life. Because Jesus in his hands holds his winnowing fork to separate the truly repentant and them that are not repentant. Today you can say yes to Jesus. I don't know where you are. You can just lift your, up your hand and I'm going to see your hand or the ministry team members will see the, the hand. The we will pray with you. And from this day, your life will take a, a turn around. Because Jesus saves sustains and satisfies. And I can boldly confess and declare that I have tested of the Lord and I know he's good. He will be good to you. Are you there and you'd like to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life? You can just stand up wherever you are. And we will pray with you. So even after this, you can talk to any of the of the readers, and, go, uh, and they are going to assist you. So as I conclude, we should be thankful that our God is not God of waste. He does not allow anything in our lives to be wasted. Because all things work, all things, not some things. Work for good for they that uh, love the Lord. Who have been called uh, 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 according to his purpose. So he's able to gather up the broken pieces of our lives. We are able to, to pick our broken pieces. And give him to him. For the child of the king. Our pain is never wasted. It always has a purpose. God can take the broken pieces of our lives. And use them for his, for his glory and for our good. Jesus, Jesus should always be our sufficiency and our strength. And you should never forget that Jesus holds in his hand the, his winnowing fork. 
so to separate the truly repentant and their and their repentant akiweza kutenganisha walio tubu kwa kweli na wale ambao wamekataa kutubu i can conclude by declaring maranatha nikaweza kumalizia kwa kutangaza maranatha jesus is coming soon yesu yuaja amen amen uh, shall we stand up as we pray wacha tusimame ili tuweze kuomba our father and our god in the mighty name of jesus baba wetu mungu wetu katika jina kula yesu Thank you Jehovah God because Lord you release to us the grace to thresh mountains. Asante kwa sababu umetuachia neema ya kuweza kudidimiza milima yote milima milima. And thank you Jehovah God because of what Lord you have in store for us. Na tunashukuru kwa sababu ya kile ambacho umetuwekea galani. Because heaven and father Lord you cause uh, you, you remain our redeemer. Kwa sababu baba wetu unabakia mkombozi wetu. We are variable Lord in your eyes. Sisi ni wadhamana machoni pako. And heaven and father Lord we appreciate king of glory. Baba Mungu wa mbinguni tunashukuru. That Lord you open our eyes. Ya kwamba Bwana Mungu umefungua macho yetu. That we may be able to see the good Lord in our thresh mountains. Ya kwamba tukaweze kuona mazuri katika milima yetu ambayo imetitimizwa. And Lord you cause us to be keen to separate the good and the bad. Na ukaweze kutusaidia tukaweze kutenganisha mazuri kwa mabaya. And Lord at the end of it king of glory. Na baada ya mambo yote Bwana. That Lord we have a reason to rejoice and glory Lord in your name. Ya kwamba tutakuwa na sababu ya kufurahikia na katika jina lako. Because Lord you remain Lord at work Lord in our lives. Kwa sababu Bwana unabaki kazini katika maisha yetu. And Lord how I pray for myself and for the rest of us. Jinsi ile ninaojiombea na ninaombea kila mmoja wetu. That Lord you never forget. Ya kwamba utasahau. We will not for we will not forget. Atutasahau. That Jesus holds in his hand. Ya kwamba mikono ni pake Yesu. His winnowing fork. Ako na kile kifaa cha kupepeta. Uh, to separate the truly repentant and them that are not repentant. Oh, how I pray that for each one of us king of glory. That Lord will make the right choices. Be glorified and be exalted. Even as you continue to cause us to walk Lord in the revelation knowledge of all of your word. Because when we walk in the revelation knowledge of your word kwa sababu tukitembea katika ufunuo wa neno lako will never be lost in the crowd in jesus name we pray katika jina la yesu tumeomba amen amen let's give a clap offering to the lord naweza mpatia mungu sifa ya makofi